Hey, I'm Averal Shukla, and I help developers and AI builders like you go from idea to implementation with advanced LLM-based systems. If you're trying to build smarter, more accurate AI agents, you're in the right place. In part one, we saw how basic RAG falls short and why hallucinations still happen. Today, we're going to fix that by setting up LightRag together, step by step. Let's get into it. Quick recap. LightRag is an open source RAG framework that combines two things, vector search and a knowledge graph. That means instead of guessing the right chunk of data, it understands your content structure. Where traditional RAG just retrieves based on keywords, LightRag pulls meaningfully connected concepts, which drastically improves accuracy. There are three key parts to LightRag. First, we set up the RAG pipeline. This defines the embedding model, LLM, and storage layers. Second, we ingest documents into both the vector database and the knowledge graph. Third, we query using one of three search modes, naive, vector only, hybrid, vector plus KG, and mix, user-guided traversal. LightRag supports multiple embedding plus LLM providers, OpenAI, Claude, Gemini, Olama, AWS Bedrock, you name it. For storage, you can keep things simple with local JSON files or scale up with Neo4j or Postgres plus Apache Age. Super flexible depending on your use case. Let's set it up. I'll show you how to run LightRag locally in under five minutes. First things first, we need to initialize our RAG instance following the setup from the GitHub repo. We start by defining our working directory where the knowledge graph will be created locally. Next, we select the embedding model and LLM we want to use. For this example, we are using OpenAI for both. Then, we initialize the storage and the pipeline, which allows us to insert data into our knowledge base. That's exactly what we do next. We use the asynchronous insert function to add all our information. This data can come from local files or be pulled from the cloud. Just convert them into strings and insert them the same way. LightRag will handle all the chunking and optimize the insertions automatically. Once everything is in the knowledge base, we're ready to query. I simply call RAG, followed by the asynchronous query function, pass in my question, and specify mixed mode for search. This tells it to use both the vector DB and the knowledge graph to generate the best answer. Finally, we just print the result. At this point, I can jump into the terminal, run the script, and it will build the full RAG pipeline, insert the data, and run the query I defined at the bottom. And that's it. That's how easy it is to get LightRag up and running. Of course, there's more when it comes to agent integration, and I'll walk you through that. Boom, there's our answer. It tells us Python is the way to go, and that's spot on based on what we inserted into the knowledge base. Everything's working perfectly. I have included a downloadable example in the repo with two agents, one using basic rag, the other using light rag. You can compare them side by side. Same prompt, same docs, very different answers. So that's your light rag setup. You've got vector search, knowledge graphs, and a powerful framework ready to scale. In the next video, we'll do a live benchmark between traditional rag and light rag using real documentation and prompts. And yeah, LightRag wins. Subscribe, grab the repo, and I'll see you in part three. Subs